what's up guys this is John back here at the race shop and what we have today is the start of our series on a 632 9 degree that we're going to be building and put in our house car and this will be debuted at our test session at the Texas Motorplex March 10th and 11th and we're going to take you guys along the ride from the beginning process to the very end and so with that being said the first step is well we got our Brodex aluminum block here 10 200 deck 55 millimeter roller and all of our Brodex blocks come hipped which is the hot isostatic pressing which makes the forging just a way better piece obviously we want to make it as stout and stable as possible and Brodex is doing that with us and so right now we'll get all the things that we need unboxed kind of break it down for you guys and we'll be going from there all right I look, got everything unboxed and laid out for you guys um, what comes with the Brodex block is going to be your inspection report which has all your critical measurements laid out here order number date number we got our warning tag make sure you look at that obviously our contingency decals 55 millimeter roller bearings we got our snap rings we got our freeze plugs there with all the o-rings all the restrictors needed all the plugs our steel main caps we got our main studs and our head studs now these caps we're gonna do a little bit i mean they're just rough uh board so we need to make sure we deburr all the edges get everything off we definitely don't want to scrape any uh, bearing backing off cause us any inconsistencies with our bearing clearances we'll do the same with the block i'll get it all prepped up and we'll start line honing all right we got the block in our line hone we're putting the main studs on with nic's getting our caps on uh putting our bolts on and getting them uh lubed up with cmd number three torquing it down and we'll be ready to line hone Got the main caps on. I got them torqued at 95 foot pounds on the inner, 85 foot pounds on the outer with CMD number three lube. And I got anti seize on the block side to keep anything from trying to gall up there. And I have my dial bore gauge set up at 2.9380, which is the high side limit of the GM blueprint. And so we set it in here, and Brodex usually sends them about three to four thou undersize. It looks like this one is right under fourth thou undersize here and so we're going to take that all the way to zero so we'll take fourth thou material out i'll go ahead and run it through all the mains and just kind of make sure that we're consistent going through from number one to number five yeah it looks like they're all within a half a thou which is pretty good we can get that line home fairly easy Looks like we got the process done we've taken out the material we need we're probably about a half a thou away from the high side split but we're going to stop there that way we can set our bearing clearances and kind of see where we're at we're going to dial bore gauge and as you saw earlier now we're just a half thou under we'll run through here making sure we're nice and straight On all the journals here. Nice. So now we'll take off our main caps, get some cleavite bearings, see where our oil clearances are going to be, and then move on to the next step, which will be our rottler, and it'll get decked. And this one does not need to be bored. It already comes in. It's 10 to 15 thousandths undersized there, so we can take that out at the home. And the next step, we'll see you on our next process. All right, we got it. Uh, the block in our Rottler F69A four-axis CNC machine. Uh, Daryl has it in there. He has a probe on it, and that's going to tell us where the deck is at, where it comes in roughly. And then we'll take that down and get it precisely squared away and to the exact deck height that we want our part stack to be at.
Uh, here we have our shell mill and we use this to just rough deck the block. Uh, the sleeves actually stick up above the block about 10 to 15 thousandths so that will just wreck a, a cutter. So we use this shell mill to kind of save our fly cutter and use these cutters and we'll take it nice and slow. We'll get this down to about 10 thousandths away from where our actual deck height will be set and then we'll switch over to the fly cutter. Uh, here we got our fly cutter installed and we'll be doing the last uh, cutting to our deck height and at this combination it's actually at 10.185 so we'll take that remaining 10 thousandths and actually down to one thou and then we'll take the one thou for our final cut to have a nice and slick finish for our MLS gasket. All right, we got the block in our Rodler 875X diamond honed. Uh, as you see here, we're getting started on our honing process. We use a f various different grit of stone, uh, depending on what application is desired for the engine. And we're buttoning up the machining process of the block here. The next step we'll be showing you guys is the rotating assembly and how it's balanced. <laughs> 